Okay, good morning class and welcome to another five minute lecture and this today's lecture is going to be on the research report that you're going to um, complete, which for some of you may be project six in your textbook. We're going to use a new website called um, that's put out by the University of Berkeley. It's similar to SPSS um, and you'll be able to enter variables, you know, run cross tabs, create charts. Um, I think you'll find it interesting. You're going to use a data set called a General Social Survey. And as you can see here, it says the GSS is a national probability sample of adults in the United States conducted by the National Opinion Center. The goal for this particular project is for you to state a hypothesis involving your variables, develop arguments, so on and so forth. And by the way, all of this information is contained in your textbook under Project 6, the research report. Now, keep in mind, you may be in a different section of my class, so um, the project may have a different number, but nonetheless, this is the one dealing with the SBA Berkeley um, data set. Um, for this example, for this exercise, uh, you're going to look at people's opinions on pornography um, regarding um, as related to their attendance at church. The data set is located online at sdaberkeley.edu, CGI bin. This link is available for you on the Social Work 300 website. Um, so you can just copy and paste the link or uh, just go directly from the website. It's going to look a lot different from what you're used to seeing with SPSS, which is okay. Don't freak out. You just follow along, enter your independent, dependent variables. Um, for purposes, you need to select row percentages. Um, color coding is fine. Depending on what type of charts you want to create, you know, just select what you need. If you need help in using um, the online data file, and then use it go to the help menu. Once again, we're talking about a hypothesis involving two variables. You're going to put your dependent variable in the row and you want your independent to be in the column so that when you run your data it comes out correct. Um, you are going to need to recode uh, variables in this assignment. But there's a little bit different from what you've done previously in the class. In this example, attendance, I recoded it into a new variable called attendance24, but you can name your new variable whatever you wish. If it's easier for you to call it attendance24, not a problem. When you're interpreting your findings, use row percentages. And your output data is going to look a bit different than when you're using SPSS, so don't freak out. It's the same items that you're used to seeing. You can create your graphs and charts online using um, the SVA database. Very easy. Now, as you can see, if you do not recode your data, your graphs will be of poor quality and they will, be, they will not be acceptable. So for this assignment, you must recode and follow the instructions in the book. There are a few different parts to this assignment. I'm not going to uh, read them to you. Obviously, it's in the book, but when you're writing your paper, make sure you include part one. Make sure you recode. Don't skip this step. I'm almost telling you, don't skip this step. Include part two. Uh, just read along. Part three, read. Reading is fundamental. This is a very easy assignment. And part four, and of course, the complete instructions are located in your textbook. Follow the instructions, use the research report grading sheet, and you should be fine. And let me see if I can show you rather quickly. This is what the SDA data uh, website actually will look like when you see it on screen. And last but not least, make sure you use plagiarism detect and include a printout with your paper. Um, and thank you again for, once again, watching the five-minute lecture. If you have questions, ask. 